Cross River State, formerly Southeastern State, is one of the six states that make up the South South geopolitical zones of Nigeria. It makes you wonder, actually, what does South South mean in the English language? Anyway, in Nigeria, everything is possible. Carved off the former eastern region on the 27th of May 1967, its capital, Calabar, also its largest city, bears scars of slavery engraved all over its anthropological, sociological and historical veracity. It is a general consensus that over 30% of the slaves shipped to the New World pass through the Calabar route. That is a colossal number. Calabar, considered the former capital of southern Nigeria protectorate because it was here that the British administration of southern Nigeria was headquartered and it was here that the loot away of Nigeria's endowment was engaged in. Calabar's location was ideal, situated on the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean. It was no surprise that the British targeted it first. In 1884, Calabar became the capital of the Oil Rivers Protectorate. However, it wasn't until the early 19th century that the British gained control of the territory. During the short-lived Biafra and the war that ensued, the Igbo-predominant former eastern region, under Operation Tiger Claw, prosecuted the people of Cross River State. Bakasi Peninsula, an oil-rich territory, was in Cross River State, but this was ceded to Cameroon under the Green Tree Agreement. The Cross River, after which the state was named, rises from the Cameroon Mountains and flows through the state, forming much of the state's western border. Cross River is bounded by Benue State to the north, Ebony on the west, Akwaibom on the southwest, Cameroon on the east, and dashes off to the Bight of Biafra on the south. Like Delta and Akwaibom, Cross River Plains consist of tropical rainforests with swarms, mangroves, palm oil, and similar topography. Cross River State has a population of under 5 million and a land area of 20,156 square kilometers. The predominant ethnic groups are Efik, the Ejagam, and the Bekwara, with scores of smaller ethnic groups. The major cities after its capital are Akampa, Biase, Ikom, Obubra, Udupani, and many others. The Efik language is widely spoken in Cross River State and as far as Arochuku in neighboring Abia State. Another important point to make is that, though diverse and scattered with different languages, all the linguistic plurality in the state has a single root, the Niger-Congo family of languages. There are 18 local government areas in the state. Calaba boasts some tourist attraction not very common to the greater Nigeria. From the plateau of the mountain of Obanliku, the rainforest of Afi, the waterfalls of Abokim and Kia, the Oxbow Calaba River with stunning views and imagery of the Tinapa Business Resort, Calaba Marina, Calaba Residency Museum, and the Slave Park. This state has a lot to offer if you are an eco tourist. Calaba is arguably Nigeria's cleanest and safest city. There is also the Ibom monolith, Mary Slessor tomb, Calabar Drill Monkey Sanctuary, and Cross River National Park. The highest concentration of different species of butterflies in the world can be found in the Akankpa local government area of the state. And another interesting fact, Cross River is about the most 
sparsely populated state in Nigeria with just 65 persons per square kilometre. Bantu Page presents to you clips from our polling sessions in Cross River State. A brief explanation about what we do. We are conducting a poll. These clips were not recorded for your entertainment, rather for our nationwide poll. We came up with the idea of a face-to-face -face poll as Nigeria, unlike most developed countries, we believe that phone polling would not be reflective of Nigeria's reality. We give our poll several layers to give us a better understanding of our demography. These layers are the reason you find the many questions we ask, which you may find irrelevant, annoying, or sometimes discomforting. But they are essential. If you visit our website, Facebook, or Twitter, you'd find that we've released many poll numbers by ethnicity, age, marital status, religion, employment status, genders, and many others. Without these questions, we would not be able to give you these numbers. Please bear with us as we conduct our poll. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel from Bantu Page Media and you are welcome to another segment of the Bantu Page Media Polling Activity. Right now we are live in Calabar City, you know now, nation's paradise. Calabar is very, very beautiful guys. Trust me, you will not want to miss the aesthetics in Calabar. And guess what? I must eat dog meat in this Calabar if I live here. <laughs> okay, in the previous day we went to the Northeast region, we went to Taraba State, we went to Gombe State, we went to Ademawa State. And we found out that people that live there vote because of the tribe, personality and religion. So let's find out in Calabar City if those factors also influence the way people vote in the forthcoming presidential election. Keep it locked, guys. My name is Obang. What tribe are you from? I'm a quiet Bomite. I'm from Bibio. What's your age range? Your age? I'm 14. You are married or single? Uh, married. What's your religion? Christian. Nietzsche. Obviously, you're a business person, right? Yes. So who are you voting for in the first presidential election? I think I'm going for Atiku. Why are you voting Atiku? I think he's the most complete person. I know he has been there before and he can do a better job among other candidates. So the previous 2019 presidential election, you vote? I voted Atiku, of course. Again? I voted Atiku then. So is there anything or, any, is there anything or what anybody can give to you that will change your mind? Nothing can change my mind. What even 20 million? <laughs> I don't know if I can forget that one. Then hey, take that ticket. There's no problem, Ali. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir. What's your name, sir? My name is Mr. Champion. Yeah, what tribe are you from? Igbo. Okay. What's your religion? Christian. Are you single or married? Married. What's your age? 40. Great, beautiful. Why are you voting for you in the forthcoming presidential election? Mr. Pitobi. Why? Because I think you're going to take Nigeria to a better a high place, a better country than where we are now. So the previous 2019 presidential election, did you vote? Yes. Who did you vote for? Atiku. So then anybody will tell you or give to you to change your mind, what to vote your candidates? No. Nothing at all? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Too. Thank you. Sir. Good morning. My name is Daniel. What's your name? My name is Abari. What tribe are you from? Obo. What's your religion? Science. Are you single or married? I'm single. So who are you voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? For me, I'm not voting because I don't believe in changing personality for the betterment of Nigeria. Okay. How old are you? I'm 24. Are you a student or a business person? I'm a business person. A business person. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir. How far now? What is your name now? Manuel. Manuel. Which tribe you be? Oh, guy. Yeah. Yeah, correct guy. How old are you? 22. It can be a religion, be Christian, be Muslim. Christian. You are married, be this single. Are they single? This single, are you? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Who do you want to vote for for this first presidential election? Obi. Why do you want to vote Obi? Because the man did good. 
Azimun, if you enter president, country will change, everything will change, things that cause mm. will come low. Mm. Uh, so the previous 2019 presidential election you vote? The previous one you didn't do before? You vote? Yes. Who you vote for before? I vote uh, in Buari. Buari. So you get anything where anybody go give you or tell you to change your mind not to vote a, not, not, not to vote to be. Go for it. So that's fifteen million naira you do. Fifteen million cash. No. You sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Very much. My name is Sunday. Which tribe be? Which tribe? Ibo. Ibo Abi. How old are you? Twenty four years. Yeah, like, what do think be your religion? I be Christian. You don't marry Abi this thing. I don't marry. Who you want to vote for for this forthcoming presidential election? I never know. I don't know. So you right now, you never decide like this. You never decide on yet. Mm, I never know. No, because I I, I never sure. I never sure. Uh, I never. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Daniel. What's your name? My name is Okon. Yeah, what tribe are you from? Kwaibom. Kwaibom. Where from Kwaibom? You come from? Kwaibom. Okay. Are you single or married? I'm single. Yeah. What's your religion? I'm a Christian. Okay. What's your age? How old? How old are you? I'm 29. 29. So who you who you want to vote for for this forthcoming presidential election when they come soon? I'm stand for Tinubu. Why are you voting Tinubu? I'm stand for Tinubu. The reason why I'm stand for Tinubu, I see that uh, he would he would do something for this country for us. That is the reason I'm standing with him. So the previous 2019 presidential election, you vote? Our vote. Who you vote for? I was vote for. I was vote for good luck. Good luck. Ah. So you get anything where anybody go tell you or give to you to change your mind? No. Okay. So you're a business person, have you? I'm a business person. Right. Thank you, very much, sir. My name is Daniel. What's your name, sir? My name is Monday Trumpeter. What tribe are you from? I'm from Akwaibom. What tribe? I'm from Okanafon. You got to go in a village. Okay, great. What's your religion? My religion. Yeah. I am a Christian now. Okay. Obviously, you are married, right? I am a man with five children. Beautiful. So, what's your age range like? How about my life? Fifty-three years. Okay, great. So, who are you voting for in the first country? I will vote based on where no say this country. Not be, not be, not, not be alone. Get them. Make you know say some people there for village. You hear me, ba? Some people too where no get what they do. Government go find where no say those people also. Now God created them. I created them. You hear me, ba? No. Out of the party where you're there now. I cannot tell you that I go vote person now. Because when I pray, God will reveal the person where I go vote for him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. previous 2019 um, election, you vote? Yes, yeah. Ah, I've been vote. Who you vote for? I've been vote Jonathan. He come first. He come carry give a boy. So now he go, now we boy, we don't win that one. But this one, I have to pray where we are before vote person. I won't vote. So now you never know who you won't vote for now? I go pray, God will reveal for me. Reveal for me. But now you never know you won't vote. It's only Sunday for you. Ah, so, know. out of the people there now. Yeah. Now, three people, now they demand the men now. Who you want to vote for? You won't vote for you. In as well. PDP there, APC there, and Labour Party there. But meanwhile, I say, out of that three person, before that day of election, God will reveal who I will vote. I will vote for me, you know, say, you go help us for this country. Yeah. Yes. Hello, my name is Daniel. What's your name? My name is uh, Okun. Okun, I see that program. Where, what tribe are you from? Crossing fast state. What tribe in Crossing Fast? Uh, Baruch Bane. Okay. Are you single or married? Huh? Are you single or married? I'm single. Okay, hello. What's your religion? You be Christian or you be Muslim? I'm a Christian. Okay, now who you want to vote for for the forthcoming presidential election? I want to vote for APC. That's um, Tinibu. Tinibu, yes, Tinibu. Why? Why you want to vote Tinibu? Uh, I'm sure about, um, I just like APC, for me to vote for APC. So the previous 2019 election, do you vote? Yes. Who you vote for? Um, 2019. I vote for Okay. So you get anything where anybody will give you or tell you to change your mind not to vote your candidate? Nothing. 20 million? Hmm? 20 million? Nothing. That's it. <laughs> <now. laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? In, in politics, we have to say, see, it's believing. Tell me that whatever people will tell me. So I have to see if I know whatever I will choose. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Daniel. What's your name? My name is Anika Neyo. What tribe are you from? I'm from Akwaibom. Where in Akwaibom? Watakara. 
Okay, so um, what's your religion? Um, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Yeah. Are you single or married? I'm single. You sure you're single? Yeah, I'm very single. <laughs> you're a business person, I can see, right? Yeah, I'm actually managing my dad's shop. Okay, beautiful. So who are you voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? Mm. Looking at all the candidates coming forward for the election, I I'll, I think uh, Peter Obi is the best candidate for me because looking at him, he has the potentials and the qualification for him to be the next president. So the previous 2019 presidential election, did you vote? Yeah, I, I, have, I have my voter's card, so I vote. So the previous 2019 presidential election, you voted? Yes, I voted. Who did you vote for? Yeah, I, I voted for Atiku. I was a state coordinator. Uh, I was a state coordinator at Atiku B campaign group. Oh really? Yes. So is there anything anybody will tell you or give you to change your mind to not to vote without me? Um, I think they, nobody will change my mind. That's that's me. I choose to vote for the candidates to exercise my franchise. Nobody has to convince me to vote for any person. Thank you very much for your time. Hey, what tribe are you from? I'm from Grand River State. What's your religion? I'm a Christian. How old are you? Did? 21. Yeah, okay. You did single or you did married? I did single. Oh, yeah, no. Who you want to vote for this first coming presidential election? Nah, Peter Obi. Why you want to vote Peter Obi now? Go on, I am the right man, the right person. 2019 presidential election, you vote? No, nah, no vote. That time, I never reach. I mean, no do for my photo card. Yeah. Uh. You can't tell anybody to tell you, make you no vote your candidates. Nobody, nothing where person fit tell me. Not even 20 million. Even 20 million, no fit tell me, no vote. Correct guy, correct guy, thank you. My name is Daniel, what's your name, ma? Yeah, my name is Joy. Joy. Are you single or married? No, I'm not married yet. You're single? Yes. So what tribe are you from? I'm from Akwaibo. Where in Akwaibo? Anang, Ikorekbene. Anna what? Anang, Ikorekbene. Wait, what's your religion? Yeah, Christianity. Are you a business person? Yes. What's your age? Yeah, I'm just 28 years. Beautiful. So who are you voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? Uh, everybody, me, I prefer this Ibo Mano that is coming out. Because this Labour Party, Mama picking everybody, younger ones. We need change. Things are so hard. People are suffering. I wanted to do my marriage, but because of money, it's keeping me till now. I can't offer for some things to use and go for the marriage ceremony. So things are so difficult. So I prefer let Peter will become so that things can be better. The young ones are suffering. I'm a graduate, I finish school, no work, I have to join to business so that I can afford to take care of my parents, my siblings. So things are just so difficult. So the previous 2019 presidential election, did you vote? Mm, it was Barrio, they said change. And I went, I went there, I started voting, you know, but the change I've seen is worse. So they no. say change, it will be good, it will be good. And I went. Good morning, my name is Daniel, what's your name? My name is Gideon. Yeah, what tribe are you from? Akwaibu. Uh, are you single or married? Single. Yeah, what's your age range? Your age? 20. 20. Um, so, are you a business person or a student? Both. The boat. Yes. So, who are you voting for in the first coming presidential election? Um, for me, and I may not. For me, I may truly say I vote the right person. Who's not the right person for you? Peter Obi is the right person. Why? Because he has the he can, has the capability and the power to take this nation to the to another stage. Did you vote in the previous 2019 presidential election? Yes, I vote. Who did you vote for? Um, good luck. Good luck. Yes. So, is there anything anybody will try to change your mind not to vote your candidate? No, nobody can change my mind, no matter the morning. Because the morning may finish, we are talking about the future of tomorrow. So, what's your religion? Christian. A Christian. Thank you yeah. very much for your time. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Daniel. What's your name? My name is Daniel John. Okay, great. What tribe are you from? What tribe? Akwaibom. Okay, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. What's, what's your religion? Christian. Okay. Are you single or married? I'm married. Basically, you're a business person, right? Yep. Okay, so who are you voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? I'm voting for uh, Peter Obi. Why are you voting Peter Obi? Because I need this Nigeria to be changed. I need proper Nigerians. I don't need someone that can cause us a lot of pains again, like uh, this uh, our uh, former president. That is why I'm voting for Peter Obi. 
did you vote in the previous 2019 presidential election? No, sir. I didn't vote. So if, if there is anybody will tell you or change your mind not to vote Peter Obi? Nobody can tell me to change my mind voting Peter Obi. That, will, that is the person I'm voting for. What if I give you 20 million? Who? What if I give you 20 million? I didn't need 20 million. I'm voting for the right person. I didn't need money from anybody. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning. My name is Daniel. What's your name, sir? My name is Jude Ozokonko. Okay. What tribe are you from? I'm from Ibu. Okay. Um, how old are you, sir, if you don't mind? I'm 48 years now. Okay. Are you single or married? I'm married. What's your religion? Christian. You're a business person, right? Yes. So who are you voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? I'm voting for Peter Obi. Why are you voting Peter Obi? He's a credible man that can be able to lead us in what in a way that we needed. The previous 2019 presidential election, did you vote? Yes. Who did you vote for? I voted for PDP. Um, uh, what, um, I f I'm forgetting your name. So, okay. Um, now, right now, if I give you something, maybe money or whatever, to sell your conscience, would you sell it? No, I'm not. I'm not lady about money now. I'm not, no, nobody should tell me about money. I don't need money. Well, I can, you cannot use because of money and deceive me for another eight years. What I need is the likable candidate that can lead this Nigeria to forward, which is Peter Obi. Yes, sir, don't mind. Mm -hmm. Or your age range? Are you mid thirties, forties? Forties. Forties. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your uh, what's your religion? Christian. You're Christian. Are you yeah. Single or married? Married. So, who are you um, voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? What? Well, uh, for me personally, I think uh, it's a time to make a wise decision. Because uh, I have seen things going wrong in a country that God has blessed. And then for me, I don't have a choice of candidate among the five or nine of them. But uh, I have to look for a one who has vision about the country. Because the country is bigger than their own interest and every personal interest. And so any man or any candidate that can look at the plight of the people and know that, yes, this is what is good for my people, and then everybody should be treated equal. But who are you voting for personally? Personally? Yeah. Uh, if you say I should tell you my candidate, I think I have article at heart. Why article? What uh, article for me has been tested and has been proven, not because of the party affliction, but because uh, his contribution to Nigerian economy is much more than what I can say I will not vote for. And not only that, uh, he's somebody who has the heart of the people. He has created jobs and he will continue. For me, I know that... My name is Daniel. What's your name, sir? My name is Ufan Abraham Odam. What tribe are you from? I'm from a tribe of state. What's your religion like? You Christian, you I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Are you married or single? I'm a married, I'm a married man. You're a business person, obviously. I'm a business person. So what's your age? I have 48 years. Okay. So who are you voting for in the forthcoming presidential election? Who I will vote for? Yes. I will vote for Labour Party. That's Peter Obi, right? Peter Obi, yeah. Why? Huh? Why? Why are you voting Peter Obi? Uh, well, the reason why I want for the Peter Obi is a, is a new blood and a new trap. That's why I like to vote for the man. The previous 2019 uh, presidential election, did you vote? I vote. Who did you vote for? I vote for PDP. Okay. So, is there anything anybody will tell you or give to you to change your mind? No. My mind is my mind. No, nobody can change my mind. There's nobody, there's no money can change my mind. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hello, my name is Daniel. What's your name? My name is Iroko Oji. Okay. Or you can call me Obatosu by guy name Or. Obara. Yeah, which tribe you be? Abi Igbo man. Confirm Igbo man. Okay. Which, what your age range? 40s, 50s? As today, I did 50 years. Okay, good. What your religion? I be Christian, although I know they do a lesson. Okay. You don't marry, I be this single. Eh? You don't marry, I be this single. I be grandfather. Great. So who you won't vote for for the first coming presidential uh, election? Yeah, they vote anybody past God's kingdom. Now. Head is splitting, man. Sorry, sorry. Oh God, what sorry. kind of sudden headache is this? Sorry, my dear. God's kingdom. Now me, I they preach. Now I they vote because human government 
Human government can never rule man to successful. They have rule man to injury. Even within them themselves, when you win election, you don't have money, you can never be in the office. They will oppress you to death and rather set money where they collect the money and allow the poor masses to suffer and suffer and suffer like the one we are suffering today. Even they are opening up their nyash. Like last week, we hear that local government, uh, the money, governors have collected it and eat while the poor masses in the council are suffering. So there is no need to vote them. If they say that they have money, they're supposed to go and rest.